Let's start with the mixture. Put the pieces of stale bread in the mixer and switch it on. And the result is breadcrumbs. Here they are ready. Now it's time for the sausage. First remove the skin and then break it up with a knife. Put it into a bowl and add the ground beef and then add some oregano for flavor. A pinch of grated nutmeg, some chopped flat leaf parsley, and then add grated Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, the chopped breadcrumbs, followed by a nice egg, and finally season with salt and some black pepper. And in with our hands for working the mixture. It'll take a few minutes to thoroughly mix everything together. Now we can make the meatballs. Take a portion of around 20 grams and roll it to shape it into a ball of about this size here. And when they are made, I put them on a tray with parchment paper. I already heated the oil in the pot, so it's time to brown the meatballs. Gently stir them to make sure they brown on all sides. At this point, pour in the tomato puree and then rinse out the container with water to be sure to get all the puree left inside. Add a nice pinch of salt and I'll add some pepper too. A good mix and leave them to cook on a low heat for 15 to 20 minutes. My irresistible meatballs in tomato sauce are ready. Finish them off with a good sprinkling of oregano and let's have a taste. Wow, those are really amazing. 